Welcome to a new Acrylic Wi-Fi Heatmaps video tutorial. During an active network analysis, Acrylic Wi-Fi Heatmaps is not only on listening mode, but also interacts with the surveyed wireless network. Actual latency, bandwidth, packet loss and roaming are measured by sending and receiving data packets. Therefore, this study is the most appropriate to measure the user experience. Two wireless cards are needed to perform an active survey. The first one is used to perform a passive survey and can be selected from the main menu. The second card should be connected to the survey network. This adapter transmits network data packets to measure real-time latency, bandwidth, packet loss rate and roaming. Site surveys are passive by default. To also perform an active survey, it needs to be enabled. From the main menu, select Active Survey. Bandwidth is the network's data transfer rate from the access point to the connected client devices, expressed in kilobits per second. The higher the value, the faster the data transmission. Acrylic Wi-Fi allows to measure a network's bandwidth in two different ways. The first one by downloading a large file while we move around the facilities. This way, Acrylic Wi-Fi measures the data transmission speed from those points we pass by. To do this, we must enter the link to this file in the URL field. However, this method is not as stable as using IPath, the recommended way to measure bandwidth. IPATH is a software specially designed to measure network bandwidth. In order to use it, it is necessary to configure an IPATH server in a computer connected to the same Wi-Fi network. The device running Acrylic Wi-Fi connects to this server and measures its bandwidth during the site survey. This is the recommended method, since it is more reliable than downloading a file. In the Acrylic installation folder, there is a subfolder called IPATH, that contains a copy of this software. We must copy the IPATH folder on the computer that is going to act as the IPATH server. To configure the IPATH, we must follow these steps. Verify the IP address of the computer where IPATH server is located. Run the IPATH server in the network's computer, indicating the port where it can be accessed from. and enter the server's IP address and port in Acrylic Wi-Fi heatmaps. Another parameter that can be measured on an active analysis is latency. Latency is the time it takes for a data packet to reach its destination and come back, expressed in milliseconds. In general terms, the shorter this time interval, the better. However, the impact of latency on the user experience greatly depends on the intended Wi-Fi network usage. For example, on networks supporting voice over Wi-Fi services, latency is a key parameter to avoid audio interruptions and delays. Therefore, values of under 100 milliseconds are usually recommended. On the other hand, recommended latency values for internet browsing are generally higher. Values of even 500 milliseconds are acceptable and do not pose a negative impact on the user experience. To measure latency, Acrylic Wi-Fi sends a ping to an IP address within the same network. This is usually the gateway's IP address, although any network device's IP address can be used. To do this, the selected IP address is entered at the Latency Configuration options. When performing a latency analysis, packet lost rate data is also collected. This rate shows the relation between the number of packets resent because they failed to reach their destination and the total packets sent. The higher the packet loss rate, the worse the network's performance. 
In other words, values under 10% are acceptable and do not significantly affect the performance of most of the communications. During an active site survey, roaming data is also analyzed. For extensive areas, several access points are usually deployed in order to provide a reliable Wi-Fi connection from every spot. In order to ensure a stable connection and avoid interruptions, client devices need to connect to different access points while moving along the covered facilities. This ability is known as roaming. It is interesting to analyze roaming data to identify the access points a device is connected to depending on the area it is located at any time. Once the active survey is configured and enabled, Acrylic Wi-Fi starts the data capturing process and measuring is performed the same way as in a passive survey. During the data capturing process, Apart from network information, which is available when performing a passive analysis, Acrylic Wi-Fi also shows bandwidth and latency levels in real time. After the data capturing, the software generates different plots to help analyze the active site survey results. Thank you for watching this Acrylic Wi-Fi Heatmaps video tutorial. For more information about our products and to download the free trial version, visit our website or send us an email to sales at